Well, it, it might not be the worst thing in the world, but it's probably no, what not. got me to do this response and do this because mm -hmm. um, I know many people that have done this, mm -hmm. and I disagree or agree more or less with the rules and what each person considers a win. Uh, you know, sometimes I, I'm like, okay, I wouldn't go just for four kisses. I, I think it's boring. Or, you know, I can, I can have my disagreements, but I think that what you're doing by saying that is just as harmful, if not more harmful, because it's kind of dismissive to the effort that these people make uh, I agree. The efforts that these people put into their own challenges, whatever they, mm. they might be, right? I agree. It's like we're infighting between each other because <clears throat> the game is not perfect. And instead of like uniting efforts, perhaps, and figuring out, okay, why can this guy do Yeah, this? dude, exactly. That's what I was saying. This, uh, challenge of. Instead of like talking about that, we're there are other options. And that, I think, is just sad. It's just like, why are we doing this? No, yeah. um, I don't think. Uh, being able to win many times in a row when you have true talents chat. I don't know. This is getting a little personal. It's a it's a good point. But, but also, and it's why it's why so much outbreak happened with that tweet or outbreak. I say, you know, up uproar. Uh, and again, I say uproar. It wasn't really that big. Um, it's why I got so much attention. Perfect little anecdote there because it is. It's it's. It's very, very, like, uh, aggressive, you know? Just, yeah. just kind of, uh, <laughs> you know, and antagonistic. Or, I would agree. It's extremely uh, harmful. People have played this game a lot. No, that the only way you get on win streaks is going against bad survivors. So I even, even in that sense, it's just, I, I don't, I just don't get the point. Like, I know Challenge yourself. that if I go against a really strong four man, I'm not going to get three of them or four of them. I mean, has he watched the videos? He, he... He compiles all the hardest matches into them to show that it wasn't just a, a straight shot. There were some really close matches that he had to prevail on. Like, you, you know? have to just get a streak of just not very good survivors. He, I don't think he's watched the videos. You know that, right? The reason why we can do these, like, 50 streaks, so there's people who are like, a fucking 300. Um, the reason people can do them is because mm -hmm. the caliber of survivors they're going against isn't that high. As soon as you go against a high caliber, boom, streak gone. It's... So it, it, in my eyes, well, duh. It's it's just like the the whole thing is is having stakes and having it so that you have to play your best. Having that little number there and having like a reason to play well. That is what it is. A reason to play well. If I do not play well this match, I lose my streak. Just having stakes, challenging yourself, pushing yourself. That's what it's all about. It's not about going up against, you know, 50 bad survivors in a row. It's It's Having an incentive to play well and get better with a killer and challenge yourself and prevail in those situations where there are no options. There are almost no options. You have to find the exact right thing to do so that the streak will continue. It is extremely difficult. Like a number, which is like, oh, you know, that's cool. That person got 300 wins in a row or whatever. But it's because you didn't go against people who was really, really good at the game. And I'm not but saying that, like that, 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 that's exactly what you think, and exactly why you're just dismissive of it. But you're not considering all the other things. The fact that, for example, some of these streaks are done, and they're very, very high numbers. They've played 100 matches where they haven't made a single game-ending mistake. You know this as well as I do. Sometimes yeah, you can play very, very well yeah. against. Real How many matches is 300 matches? I just played 15 matches in a five-hour stream. 300 matches has to be like months of game time months without a single mistake how good must you be to be able to do that i mean that is bonkers that is crazy you make one mistake and you lose and you know some of these streaks are done with extra conditions i don't play i play without add-ons for mine for example which makes it difficult and i understand like half my games i'm like okay i didn't get that because i don't have an add-on and there is a consistency um, to getting something done in a row. There is just a fatal flaw that true isn't understanding. But, but also, there's a bit like of luck. Yeah, of course. Oh, they just win by killing quickly. Of course there's luck. How do you think you kill quickly if you're not good at the game? Consistently. Against a bot, like, even if they're not, like, tournament level survivors. Well, you, you've, you've met a tangent. As I said, the thing we're talking about is, uh, and I'm sure you do know because you, you've played a lot, and everyone who's got a lot of hours understands that the, especially now as well, because there's more new players, 
the the ranks are so watered down. Like this is probably <coughs> up there with the easiest it's been, I think, with survivors. Mm -hmm. No. No, definitely not. You go and go against that really, really high caliber. One, definitely not. Say one really, really like Oracle or whatever, right? If they just went, it's definitely been easier. One of these streaks, they just take yeah. it. Even yeah. even if you are really good at killer, like I'm not saying you're not good at killer or anything. I'm just saying the survivors have the control, and you know that the survivors have the control because the objective speed, which you know, once again, tangent, yeah, tangent, it's a, it. They have the control, therefore, it's up to you to minimize their control as little as possible which is extremely difficult okay. to do well so consider, consider the, the following then. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we're back especially against a good team that 4k streaks etc etc they kind of misrepresent the state of the game yeah am I, am I correct in that they, they misrepresent that the killer is uh, stronger than survivor yes <laughs> I really, that does not make any sense to me. It's just a bizarre connection. This guy got 50 wins in a row with the Wraith. Killer must be so strong. No. I mean, if you see that in your recommended, you must think, wow, that guy is good. He managed to get 50 wins. I mean, who, who thinks that? Who thinks that? I don't think that. That is so... I mean, it's interesting, and it's so bizarre. The other games that are not asymmetrical, that are a lot more balanced, <clears throat> go on like CSGO pros, they mm -hmm. play against average players, and they go on massive winning streaks. Mm -hmm. Massive winning streaks. And we yeah. know that game is like as close to balance as it gets. Uh, the other day I was watching... Kikuro, <laughs> that, that facial expression. And he has this challenge, right, where he plays random people, not even... Not even like, I mean, it's, it's, it's as simple as just like the the art of human existence like we we all challenge ourselves we all like go to the gym and decide to you know i don't i don't go to the gym but i'm just pulling an example like just bench pressing more or you know going for a little bit longer on the treadmill or whatever it's a bizarre example but bear with me like it's just a matter of challenging so it's how you get better pushing yourself challenging yourself going for those long win streaks so that when it gets to that 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 really really hard match you have something to play really really well for i have something to lose if i don't play well and it really really does push you to play better it's not a matter of impressing everyone with your amazing win streak i mean he plays every single killer in his streams up until like he loses and it's a it's a matter of slowly slowly getting better with each killer and improving yourself it's not creating this false illusion that killers are stronger than they are that just it makes no sense to me. It's it's just challenging yourself. I I really wish you would try it. But not even like bad people, random Like even playing with hooks. See how long he can go before he loses a twelve foot game. I think he'll enjoy it. 